All right, Miss Tillerson. I've got you a sausage. Oh, it's in the water. You don't care. And I've also got you a milk bone. Yeah, look here. Big old hunk of chicken beef jerky. Oh, that's going to be the first grab right there. How much you running for? Her? I wasn't doing nothing. Let me get your jerky. You only come here for supper and treats. And then, and then you come back and then you're all scared again. Because that kid, that old fat kid was pulling on you. Yeah, I won't do that to you. Okay, we'll leave you alone. Miss Tilly, Tilly, Tilly Tillerson, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Tilly's outside. Did you want to go outside with Miss Tilly? Uh-huh. Come on. Can't get her to go out. It's nice out. Come on. Go outside here with Miss Tilly. Yeah, she's out there. Your friend, Miss Tilly. Go get her. Dang, there you are again. Y'all gotta quit doing that to me, man. Welcome back. It's like in the 70s right now. And I'm getting ready to start cutting some metal and get on this screened-in patio and get as much much done as I can. I really have got to get this thing completely waterproofed. I don't know if I'll get to that today, but it needs flashing. I mean, that this metal needs to be screwed down. There's a few spots in the dog apartment, uh, mainly up here where I don't have the one piece of T111 and then on the ends. A little bit of water is making its way in, but that's treated wood, so really nothing is going to be hurt by that. But I still don't want water, don't want water coming inside, especially after I've done electrical. Uh, so we're going to focus on getting this metal cut today and getting this put on. I've decided to go vertical with it rather than horizontal. Reason being, I would still have to cut off two inches going horizontal, and if I cut it vertical, it's 26 inch pieces. I've got these at 24 on center. So that'll work out perfectly and it'll have a little overlap. And so we'll have something to screw the metal to the wall with. So let me get that started and let's get busy, man. All right, it's been about a half hour, maybe 40 minutes or so. Uh, I've been cleaning this up, getting this all cleared out. Got everything I'm going to need to finish this in here. I put away a lot of things. Basically, that's just some tools, wiring. Uh, man, I don't know how many times I nailed my head on these lanterns. And the indoor outdoor carpeting, ladders, blah, 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 blah. So, anyway, I'm going to go out here first and start. I'm going to throw some more rocks down there on the outside. Let's go out here and I'll show you. You remember. Oh. I had a hole, a ditch here, because I wanted to make this thing as big as I could, but I'm filling this in with rocks for drainage and that. God, I would have never started this thing had I known it would have got so hot so early in the year. Because, man, there's some things that, that may get ruined, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to work some more rocks down in there, and then we'll start getting that metal up. Uh, Alright Mike, that's enough. You wanna pull out your bag? Come on. 
Oh man, that sun popped out for a few minutes. I ain't kidding you, I got sicker than a dog. That's my fault for not doing nothing the whole time it was hot. I mean, it was too hot to come outside, but man, I could have been doing some other things and I sat on my butt practically the whole summer and I'm paying for it now. I'll get back into getting used to it, but man, it's just any kind of heat, man. I just can't do it. But I'm forcing myself to today because I got to get this done. Oh, all right, guys. Happy trails. All right, I just wanted to get some rock in there uh, because on the inside here it had a pretty big gap. I just wanted to fill it in because when I put that tin on, I'm not going to be able to get that in there as easy. So I think the rest of it was pretty good. I went and I pushed all this rock up some more what that's gonna do i mean it's a screen in porch it's it's gonna get water in here that'll give it a place to help drain and uh you won't probably see it once i get the metal on there all right i'm about ready to start cutting on that stuff i had to recover a little bit from my episode but i'm good and this will all be rock in here not probably not that rock I'll probably put that weed mat down first and then put some of that over it. But then I'm going to get some river rock or something that looks a little nicer. You'll see what I'm going to do with this area later. Uh, this is going to be one of the last videos on the screen patio. And probably the next one you see or the one after will be when I'm done with it. The reveal. Or at least when I'm going to be calling it done. So that I'll have the furniture and the carpet. All that in here going. I gotta get some of this junk out of here, man. It's hard to work. Right, I'm gonna try to cut two pieces at a time. I've got this adjusted, I think, just right. Let's see. I need to go tighter with it. Where's my screwdriver? Yeah, got an adjustment right here. Make it tighter or looser. Let's try that. I you again. You again. Well, maybe it needs to be looser. Go tighter before we go looser. I don't know, man. I believe tighter is the ticket. hung up on that. She was going to stab me, didn't she? But ching, you ain't. Alright, I want to use the least amount of these screws as possible. So, I cut these to go all the way up. Whack 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just want to get them in there to hold it till I get to the store and buy some more of these. That's it. That's what she's going to look like now. I got to figure out do I want to cover this pole? Do I even have enough to do that? Yes, I do. Well, not really. I don't think it's going to look right. There ain't. I do want to cut it off. I think. I don't know. Problem is, I can't make it any wider than what it is. I can make it longer if I was going this way, but I'm not going that way. So. Could put another strip there in the middle. That's I think that's what I'm gonna do. Is go ahead and use this here and then just patch in a strip here and go all the way across this. I think that will look the best. So let's get this piece. I better shut that door. Let's see, we want to probably go to about right there. Oh man. I'm not used to getting on my knees. I ain't used to anything, man. I've done nothing this summer. It sucks. Right. Don't worry about that later. I'm going to just continue on. And the only reason I'm not putting any more screws in is because this is all I got. Alright. Yeah, that looks like crap like that. I may take it back off and cut it this way. It's about even with what I got there. I think that would look best. Let me do that and see. We'll see how that looks. Because when you put a patch in there, that's going to look terrible. gonna look like roasted butt. I don't like things looking like roasted butt. Alright, let me get this cut and we'll come back. Alright, there's those two pieces. I do think it looks better leaving the beams going all the way down and uh, I'm probably gonna give that one another coat of paint. I need to caulk for one thing. I need a lot of caulking to do <laughs> get it to get done. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it, see how it turns out. Actually, this is going to be covered up anyway, so you ain't going to see it. So that works out well. All right, you'll you'll see in the reveal. But I, I like the tin down there. Well, it gives us it pops. It just pops.
Got this. This is one sheet. One eight foot sheet. Got that much. Oh, no, actually two. Two eight foot sheets. And I've got one left. And uh, definitely I'll have enough. So I'm going to probably cut a full 24 inch piece for that. And then I'm going to have one, two, three pieces I'll have to cut special to fit here. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. So I think it's going to look all right. You know, I'm trying to, I'm probably, here's the issue. I did an overhang on these window sills and I didn't do that here. I wished I would have, but I didn't. At the time, I think I had a reason for it, but I don't know. And I can always change that, but it's no big deal. But it definitely would have looked better if that had an overhang. I don't put some sort of trim piece. You know, like I said, it's a, it's a patio. It ain't got to be perfect, man. It ain't got to be. So let me get these last pieces cut and put in. And we'll see how many screws I got left. Uh, I don't really have any on the bottoms except for over there and I think that piece but once they're in on the bottom it won't be crooked anymore and it'll bring it all together and that white stuff if you can see it on the camera that's just normal oxid oxidation I'm just going to leave it on there I ain't worried about it you can't fight that stuff alright man we'll be back alright one more to cut 24 inches and the rest will be custom cuts cool out today well compared to 100 and tomorrow it's gonna go back up to 91 but I ain't gonna be here I'll be well I'll be here but I gotta go pick up glasses I hope they weren't ready Tuesday alright cut this one I think I got this cutter figured out Help to have a bigger battery on this. That's that, man. All right, last piece. I wonder if anything's living under it. mothers laying around I just gotta you know I bought a whole box of them things it's my dumb story of my life This 
little better once I get all these screwed in. See, let's go ahead and throw one down there. in the place. Alright, now I'm just going to cut a piece for that one, that one, and that one. And we're good for today. Well, you didn't think I was leaving without checking on the goof balls. Look at you! Up in the chair looking all droopy. Yeah. How come sister don't want to come in here for? Oh. He's just a big old fuzzy boy. He sure is handsome. He is a handsome boy. Yeah, he likes sitting in that chair. And then on my video, on the security footage, I seen Lily getting up on this bed. So she knows how to get on him. She just rather be outside. But he don't care. He wants to be inside, don't you, boy? All right. There's the dose of uh, Waldo. I see we have Rooster and Miss Kelly. Miss Lily's gonna be a snob, ain't you, Lily? You ain't gonna come say hi, Lily? I guess not. She was cooped up all day yesterday. Here she comes. Are you coming in? You guys already had your snacks. Now Daddy's gonna go in and make something to eat us. Yeah, he's got enough for three or four days. All right, let's see. How you feel? All right, I found some more. Uh, Cheap metal screws, but they were green, so I'll get some model paint. You can't even really tell they're down there on the bottom. I'll get some model paint, go over them with it, or silver model paint. It don't matter. I'll probably never do nothing with it. But got everything in place. Sure brightens it up in here. I can tell you that it makes a big difference. But I don't like I don't like this, so I may. Get a, when I get a load of cedar, I think I'm going to run a strip of cedar all the way across the top and then have some slats in those seams. Kind of like what I got in the kitchen in the house. That would look really good. And uh, if I don't do this up here in cedar, I'm going to, somebody, a couple people had said, you know, just paint it. So I'm going to paint this, paint these two by fours black and leave the white there. I think that'll look pretty good for now. Uh, and that's something I'm not going to worry about right away. And what I'm going to do next is I'm, I've got my furniture for in here pulled out in the shed. And I'm going to put that together. That won't be on this video. I'm not going to bore you with that. I hate putting stuff together. But uh, whew, it's good to be back out here and doing something. But uh, like I said, we may be doing one more video in here. But I doubt it. Uh, I think I'm going to... Next thing I'm gonna do is go into the dog apartment, get the plumbing run and the electrical run in there. And I'm gonna pull some of that insulation down and do a little better job on that because it just looks terrible. And uh, I guess I'm gonna sheetrock it. Don't know when, but that is the cheapest wall covering route to go right now. All right guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe, give me a like, give me an unlike, I don't care. All right guys, happy trails. Thank you.